Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from Sophie Lawson Dot. <laughs> What's happening? Come, and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books. And today, really excited. I've had these on my bookshelf for a few years and I've never opened them really. I think I quickly went through them <laughs> for about five seconds. On one of the podcasts but these are two books by James Gurney one is called Colour and Light and the other one is Imaginative Realism and well these books have kept coming up I've, like so many podcasts I listen to and videos and I watch on YouTube these books kept coming up I don't honestly know anything about James Gurney really other than he did Di Dinotopia but even James Gurney, he keeps popping up in some of my Imagine FX magazines that I look at. He pops up in those and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two separate little videos looking at these two little art books. I'll start with imaginative realism. I feel like I need to burp. You know when you feel like you've got a burp inside? <laughs> it's a bit weird. And then I'll do this one after on a separate video. Look how thick these books are. They're really thick books. I can't wait for this because, well, this is going to be amazing. How to paint what doesn't exist. I love that cover. It's like a, yeah, it looks, it is exactly like that. It, it's imagination, but it sort of looks real. You could imagine that thing actually existing. And what's amazing is it's got a slippery texture look. It's got, I love it when they do that. The, the text has got a slipperiness to it. Like a bit of texture and over there. So this one is imaginative realism. How to paint what doesn't exist. I cannot wait for this. I, I don't really know anything about it. It's just, look at that, he's got a zip on his hat. That's quite weird. That's quite cool, I like that. But everyone seems to think these books are amazing. So little Dennis is going to let us in, <laughs> or is he? I don't think he is now. He's not going to... Dennis! Yay! That's cool, look. He's got a little sketch on it. Hey! His little hand. Is that that? That's a little sculpture, isn't it? A little sculpture, I think. I like that, being on the cover. It's quite nice. So James Gurney, in one of the Imagine FX magazines, he had his little dinosaurs in there. And I loved them because they looked real. Yeah, they looked real, but they also looked, well, because they're dinosaurs, they're not real, but they are. When did this one come out? 2009. 2009. God, look at the contents. We've got loads. Traditional, studio. Preliminary sketches, history and archaeology, people, dinosaurs, we like creatures and aliens, aliens, we like aliens, architecture, that'd be boring, <laughs> vehicles, plan air studies, composition, procedure, careers. Oh, look, video game design. I wonder, I don't know whether this book is like a study book or or what ancient egypt it's got, this book this book explores the question of how to paint a realistic picture of something that doesn't exist it is intended not only for artists interested in fantasy and science fiction but also anyone who wants to create recreate history visualize extinct wildlife or simply tell a story with a picture i love that yeah you could you could bring to life all the things you read about about these ancient civilizations. That'd be nice. But yeah, that looks real. I love that. That's that bloke, isn't it? Gulliver's Travels. It's amazing, that. Imagine if there were little people like that. 
You could have one on your art desk. <laughs> you could have a little purse on your art desk to carry your little pens around and stuff. Oh, I love that. Imagine that, a little, a little purse on your desk. The tradition of imaginative painting. I can't believe how real you can get a painting to look. Look, these are all in oil. I've got, I've got no idea how you could bring... How can you make paint which is so out of control? Hey, look. Oh, I love that. He's got a little budgie on his shoulder. That's little James Gurney. I've actually watched a couple of his videos. He's got some videos on YouTube and stuff. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh, I love that. With these little thumbnails. That's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at the other side as well. He's in the middle of a forest. Oh, I love that. I like that as well. He's even got like fabric and stuff to study. There, he's got massive bean box as well. <laughs> little budgie, oh, that's brilliant. Look, little, I wonder if that little budgie's called Dennis. <laughs> Little, little Dennis, he's got his own little Dennis. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder what got him into dinosaurs. Going through the tools. That's pretty, isn't it? Paint is so pretty. It looks so fun. It's like you're, it's like you're creating art with sweets. I like sketches. Sketches are my favourites. Oh, I like that. Oh, look, games to loosen up. Before you get involved with creating big, ambitious paintings, have a little fun sketching. Oh, this will be fun. These are going to be little, little ideas for getting yourself warmed up. Thumbnail sketches. Storyboards. I wonder what James Gurney does. Oh, these are cool. Nice colours. I like the colours. Charcoal. That's oil, that is. Oh, camel. Oh, I love stuff like this. Hmm. He's even got a little model. I like that. I like how he's bringing physical things into... Because he's, he's got physical things, he's able to get more realism in, in with his imagination. So what he really needs is a dinosaur. I wonder if he's got any dinosaur bones. Perspective grids. Look, there's a dinosaur there. That's nice. That's cool, look. Little different covers. Oh, I love that. Look at him, look. Doing a backflip. Oh, he looks a bit like uh, Star Wars, Star Trek. He's a bit like, look at that, he's happy. He's chaos, isn't it? People in the water as well. Wonder what's happened there. Cool. Like that. Oh, there's going to be loads of wisdom in here, look. What about telling a story? Look, he's actually acting out the, the poses for reference. 
Oh, I love that this is all about like ancient civilizations and stuff. That's nice. Information in atmosphere. Look at that, look. The lighting on that. I love these little dinosaurs. Like fun. Mirror studies. That's cool. Look, he's dressed himself up as a as like an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Little Dennis is fun. Yeah, torture. You don't like that. Oh look at the eyes on that. Imagine the stuff they must have got up to in the old days. Cause they didn't have all the cameras everywhere. They, you could probably go around killing people and not get caught for it and stuff. I wonder what it feels like to kill somebody. It must be a little bit exciting. That sounds a bit weird. There must be an element of excitement there. Otherwise, why would people do it? These are nice. Yeah, he, must, he must be into sculpting as well. I get the impression he really, he, he understands like physicalness of things. I feel like he wants to know something inside and out before he even starts drawing it. Hmm. They look real, they do. Oh, I love this. Dinosaur, look. Little turtle. I'd love to see a real dinosaur. Because it seems so impossible that they could have existed. Oh, look, a little... Baby one. Yay, look, he's a he's actually with the dinosaurs. There he is, look, the bones. I bet he's got some dinosaur bones. Like that. Oh look, he created a little scene. This goes into something I was talking about in the podcast. When you're drawing from your imagination, you need to know what you... It goes Bert Dodgson in his book, Keys to Draw, and he said, when you try to draw something from your, from your head, it doesn't look like what it actually looks like, because you don't really know what something looks like until you can see it and draw it. That's like that. If you can see the scene in your head, you turn it into that, it's going to be much easier to then turn that into a painting rather than trying to turn it into a painting from your head. That's like Assassin's Creed. Little dinosaurs. Oh, these are nice. They've got a nice little flavour. Look at these little fishies and stuff. I like those. That's weird. I wonder if James Gurney has done psychedelics. Oh, I love this this character here. He's cool. I want to see his girlfriend. I want to see what his girlfriend looks like. Skeletons. I like that. That's a cool character. Look, he's got pencils. I don't like those. A little bit weird. I like that. I don't like their eyes. Garfield. 
Oh, oh cool. Look, little monkey things. Pumpkin monkeys. Oh, lovely. That's my favourite one. The shape of it, look. It's beautiful. Nipples. Oh, this is amazing here, look. I love that. Oh, yeah, we've even got the... Look at this one here. It's almost like a robotic s snake or something. That is brilliant. Again, look at the destruction. Cyborgs, yeah. Organic, mechanical things. Architecture. I don't really find architecture that... I like it in video games. It's beautiful, I think, but... I couldn't imagine sitting drawing. That's nice. I love that as well. They're nice to look at, but I couldn't imagine drawing them. I like these little dinosaurs. I love these, these types of dinosaurs with the big necks. Little pencil. Cool. Dinosaur. Oh, that's. See, I don't normally like vehicles, but these are like a bit like a heavenly. No, it's not. It's a bit like Horizon Zero Dawn. Mechanical dinosaurs. Oh, cool. This is the first time I've ever seen somebody actually make proper imaginative vehicles. Normally the vehicles are always sort of cars or something that are a bit different. These are proper... Yeah. These are proper imagina imagination ones. It's like a Formula One truck. I love that. Oh, these are brilliant. These are the first vehicles I've ever really loved. Amazing. Yeah, I love this. Insects as vehicles. These are brilliant. Makes me want to try and do it. Look at that as well, look. Look at that. Cool. It's sort of that thing that Boris Valige, is it? Somebody told me how to say Boris Valigio. I think it's Boris Boris Vali uh, Valigio. Boris Bali Boris Valigio. Vali Valigio. He he does these things like retro futuristic. It's a bit like that. Boris Valigio. 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 Ligier. I love these dinosaurs. Piggies. Oh, look. See, I think that dinosaur is helping him. Oh, I like it when you get animals and humans together. It's nice. That's nice. Again, it's a bit Assassin's Creedy, these. Yeah, I like it. Composition. Silhouettes. 
Mä vaan taas sinne vähän. You really get to see all the little details. James Gurney's amazing skills. I really like his quality of his work. Makes me want to draw dinosaurs. Oh, I like this. This was um, one of the podcasts. They're talking about how you can. One of the articles they said about how you can make the viewer's eye go around the page. You can sort of manipulate the viewer. I think that's what that's talking about. Yeah. Look, it shows you. I like that. Heat maps. There's a man there, look. Hiding away. Imagine wearing clothes like that. It's quite weird. Like his hair. Flagging the head. That's a bit sort of ominous. I like these. I like that. Reminds me a little bit of films like the Sinbad series and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't enjoy do drawing stuff like that, I don't think. I'd f I think I'd find that a bit boring. That's cool. Drawing himself. Step by step, look. I love that. I always love it when you see things like that. I can't believe how real these look, look. They almost look like photographs. And then you got dinosaurs with them. It's so cool. It's brilliant. What he's listening to? What do you reckon he listens to? I would say classic, classical music, or yeah, I'd say classic. Oh, I like that. Hat. Look at these people at the lifts. He's very good at coming up with ideas for vehicles. Movie designs, video game design. Oh, I like these look. Little toys. Theme parks. No, I never, you don't think about that, do you? Somebody has to design. Theme parks, like Jordan and stuff. He's cool. But I like Blake off of Star Wars. Got the glossaries. Oh, this is cool. Look, brainstorming a method for generating ideas by exploring as many variants, variations, and combinations of a concept as possible with an unrestrained, spontaneous, non judgmental mindset. Cool. There's loads of these things here. Clustering. Camouflage. Cyborglet. 
a cybernetic organism that blends natural and artificial systems. I like cyborgs. Eye tracking. Oh, I like this. Yeah, there's loads of them. It's gonna be, that's going to be good to read, I think. Look at this as well, look. All these books. Bridgman, George Bridgman. I've heard a lot of people say about him as well. I've never looked at his books. Somebody said, who's the other one? George Bridgman, look, Loomis, Andrew Loomis. I got two of Andrew Loomis's books, but I found them really hard. I found them very hard to study from. I've never been able to get through them. Oh, this is cool. Lots of recommendations and stuff. And then we've got the index. Eyes. Let's see if there's eyes in here. Yay, eye look. Eye level. Eye tracking. And that's it. It finishes with the... Let's see if that's... I think it is, isn't it? Is it? I think so. No, it's not. Two different ones. I like that. That was really cool. Hey, he looks a bit like a Thundercat. That was brilliant. You can tell there's lots of stuff in here to learn. I love the vehicles. I think that was a highlight for me, that. Seeing the, the creativity in these vehicles. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a look at Imaginative Realism by James Gurney. And I'll see you later for another one.